Alright. It is weird how the first recording it says is overloaded, but anyway. We're back. Now it's time to hunt down Shark. The charge to the wilds. Now the kid's gonna bring him back. Yeah, not gonna do that. Let's just get it. I know, I, I don't know why, I've been feeling tired recently. After Zolf's little episode, maybe because daylight savings time. Shards. First stop, Jaws and Bog. Anyway, you'll get lost in that bog. I Let's just get to this, and I won't be able to guide you back. Well, I let him go. What else could I do? What could any of us do? Okay. There is nothing actually there. Zolf put us in a real bind. Hurt the bastion bad. But the shards can make it better. They're like smaller doses of the core's medicine. Hmm. They thought I could destroy that one. Shame the only place to fill that prescription is out here in the wilds. This place is intoxicating. Changed over to make it so I couldn't be hurt by by that. Somewhere I never been. Somewhere I never want to go. It is so nice how the dots pierce armor. Oops. Sorry. was loading up when the messages I don't remember seeing before. The gas fellows, squirts, and windbags are all the same species. It's just what uh what age they are basically, stage of development they are. Now the kids see something stranger still. Did anybody else survive? that experience. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. The kid sets foot inside one of Ceylandia's famous watering holes. The security is just passing.
Now you die. Kid succeeds where the calamity fails. That's right. Would you look at what he did to poor old Ronnie the bartender? Proper story is supposed to start at the beginning. It's so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world's all right, snoozing there on a rock in the sky. He wakes up. I'm just fooling. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. What's going with those look like cash registers? He sees what's left of Piff the Bull. What's left of his lifelong friend? His friend. He's come undone too. He sees what's left. What's left? Undone. Where do I drop? There? Oh. Only just knows those lights. And now over to the bed. I did not lie down on the bed. Getting a drink of water. Train of thought just thinking about that place. The shard ain't lost either. Not anymore. Now to find a ticket out of this hole. Both liquors dig their nasty thorns into his heels. Ever heard of the lung blossom? Yeah. Bigger than the stories say. The breath on that thing, like a scumbag sprung leak. Well, the kid prunes it down the side somehow. I will point out that I was not fully paying attention to everything going on around me. Alright. Not sure why I hit the right mouse button there. Alright, let's get out of here. Mother only knows what happened in the bog. Kid never much cared to speak of it. The I'm good with three I got. Poor man's core, but beggars can't be choosers. That's it. A few more shards like that, and we'll be back in business. A single shard can breathe new life into this place. The shards got enough juice to spruce up any of these places. Champagnes made with scumbag extract, hence the barley aroma and the nausea. Sure. How many do I need?
four more. Right? No. Yeah, four... no? Wait, what? I thought there was one for her... I must have already gotten it then. Alright. Don't me, I'm, I'm just blabbering. The city tried to use the shards to stake out the wild. So much for that plan. Knew their way around the lagoon. I'm not actually gonna use it, I just you know, still want to collect it though. I, oh, can't get hasty Damn it. In a place like this. Sure, you can. The just suffer the consequences. They used to think that ankle gators were extinct. Let's move on. Gotta do everything. Well, they ain't. One of them's been living in the tall grass. They called her Queen Anne. Plenty of other dangers, of course. Turns out Queen Anne got a hold of a shard. Ankle Gators love shiny things. Know what smells worse than an Ankle Gator's breath? A stinkweed. Come on, dissipate. There we go. Thank you. Pick that up. Time for Pecker Hunt, but the kid can't resist. Can't fight Queen Anne without the proper tools. That's fine, but I'm not picking up the spear. I don't need it. Most of those Peckers are smart enough to stay out of Queen Anne's way. No, I'm good. There. Oh wait, do I have to pick up the spear? That might be the case. It might be that I have no choice on the matter. The brushers use their pikes to keep their distance around here. Now the kid can do the same. Sharp sticks make yeah. Queen Anne nervous, so she backs off a bit. Those pin cushions been living off the ankle gator scraps. Some of these narrow paths. I don't think. Yeah, but that would give me health, but I'm already full, so I don't need it. Queenie leads the kid into some kind of twisted trap. One bad step in that tall grass and it's Queen Anne's lunch. Still no sign of the show. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, the brusher's way ain't really his style. I know what I prefer to use. The closer you get to an ankle gator's lair, the thicker the tall grass grows. Kids gotta make a run for it. Those leaping lunkheads don't like Queen Anne any better than a kid. Bad idea to walk in gator grass. Come on. Alright, got it. Seems even stinkweeds know to stay away from the queen. Oh, come on. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I have upgraded the, uh, the spear. She's coming for him. She's got nowhere else to go. Bring it. They say if you run across an ankle gator, you better keep running. She's starting to get annoyed. Thank you for opening up. The shard sitting in plain view. He's got it, and he's home free. Kids done what needed to be done. Queen Anne's reign is over. We even got a crown jewel. All that trouble for a single shard, but you know what? It was worth it. Ain't saying much, but that's the greatest forge in all the city. They said Queen Anne was just a folk tale. Now there's living proof she ain't. That gator's a crazy gal. But so is the gal who promised to look after her. Yeah. I think at some point there is a purpose to the mailbox. I just don't remember when it when that happens or what that purpose is. It's no longer a weapon, it's a precision instrument. Taught him a little something for my days on the front. Frame can put an extra sting in every slice. Alright, there, and let's keep going. The next shard should be farther out there in the wilds. I don't know if I'm gonna bother with 
the trials. It's a different day. And getting to the end is somewhat appealing. Know how Ceylandia became the I don't feel like the taking those breaks right now. Words. Point the main. If the wilds could ever be tamed, it was gonna happen right here. But now, the greatest outpost past the city line is nothing but a freak show. The army's triggers once had the place on lockdown. Damn it. I, I don't have a choice. Oh, well, at least I did just upgrade it. Kid might as well pick up where they left off. Blam! Just like my fighting days. Gun like that can even put the wilds in check. Point Lemaine seen better days for sure, but it ain't done. Well, isn't this the one with the the mining thing though, where it moves for me? Lay shutters and a fin. Grand rail, Point Lemaine. Yeah. Not only is it still there, it still works. Well, maybe for this then, the carbine is a good, good weapon to have. But he can give the kid a lift. Just as long as he can stay clear of the trouble on the tracks. And this I've got the flamethrower, so works out. I would not trust that rope. Look at how broken the braids are. But that knockback it applies to me. Weird. It seems like when he actually gets on the line, it's not necessarily going to go. It's right here, that Zolf's Ura forefathers decided to mix it up. Okay. 
Okay, so maybe we didn't get their sign-off on the whole Grand Rail thing. That was bad. The rail must have shook the earth to the bone down in those ends of theirs. Okay. Just I've got to put the thing on quiet time, so I want to. That <laughs> that worked. I want to take care of the email that I survived. Completely the unimportant email. Longer, now that the kid took the shard. But uh, it's still got one good run in store for me. All the rotten wood there on the rails turned it into swamp weed, etc. I have got an idea for what I could do after after this is done. Side to side while holding your breath. While shooting a genuine registered army carbine. Without choking on swamp weed. Oh come on. Forgive me, I. Well, let me tell you, it ain't fun. There. Idea for what I can do after this for the next eye tracking swamp weed out of those boots for days. Turns out he's got company up at the radio station waiting for him. Not just another wallflower of pink cushion, my dear. Here having. So, the thing would have been helpful. Turns out he's wrong. This is for you, says the man. Then wham. <laughs> when the kid comes to, the man's long gone. But something else is there. Well, what's a kid to do? He took the shot. He took the hit. And he took that note. I'm just assuming it's not possible to leave without taking the note, but that would have been interesting. That note cuts straight to the heart of things, don't it? That actually would even be an interesting uh, mechanic in a game. If there's certain things where you can just be like, nope, not delivering the note. There's always the carbine and the bellows. Zolf's messenger was one of his people. Wonder just how many of them survive. And I, I don't mean it like it wouldn't trigger certain things, it wouldn't trigger certain quests or something, but just certain things wouldn't happen. Finding gourmet ingredients ain't easy. Or like, you know, but we'll take when they come to get in. Zia, she'd be like, I have no idea what you're talking about. The note says it plain. Zia, go east to learn the truth about the calamity and our people. I'll be waiting. Sincerely. Zolf. <laughs> It ain't too late to unlock the potential of this place. <laughs> Seems the gods recommended this place to all their friends. Hey. The shards are getting harder to find. I think this will be the last one. I only got about 10, 11 minutes left. So. Wait, did I? Not everything blew up in the calamity. Yeah, I did. I mean, I, I swapped the weapon, didn't I? No, I didn't. Crap. Way ahead of its time. Yeah, I do want to do that, and not just because I forgot to put the mortar back, but because looking at it, that, I somehow screwed up and swapped the position of the. Uh, yeah. That, that's 
very much not what I wanted to do. Well, if you can't burn it, you can always blow it to mother on high, right? One thing's worse than the heat in Colford Cauldron. The smell. Like rotten eggs. The cauldron boiled over some 300 years ago. Yeah, I know. They say it filled the skies with ash in the lakes or molten rock. If you wanted to survive something like that, you had to learn to adapt. Just wait, alright. Something to make you immune to the poison would have been nice, just so you could walk through those things. Without having to wait. So, in a way, the beasts of the wilds, they're all survivors too. Sounds right to me that there's fibers. Makes sense. It takes a certain stubborn pride to keep on living in a place like this. As for us, we learned an awful lot from Culver Culver. Good, I already have it. Can't fault our people for their natural curiosity now, can you? Yeah, I guess I have to pick it up to trigger something. That's sure, satisfying. Been a good many secrets out here, but we discovered other things we were better off not knowing. The unforgiven scent of sulfurous dirt. Want to make sure I collect it. Taste the air so hot it sticks to your lungs. I wasn't sure if I would reach it. All sorts of awful things crawling. Is the arsenal and pop goes the pecker. We kept on sifting through the cauldron secrets anyway. Actually, hang on, change this. Uh, you no, know yeah, let's go to that. We swept the side, the more life we found. The place is inhospitable as they come. But still, we pressed on. Down and 
outside Colford culture. Look down through all the smoke and flames. Act. We saw in there the heart of the world. The heart now laid bare by the calamity. Now it's the we hole coming have. back with all this. As for the kid, he just has to get that shard out of there. Too bad taking that thing woke up every last stink eye from here to Johnson Bob. Yeah, but I got what I need. Trick all the way back around the cauldron. Luckily, the cauldron cooked up a little shortcut for him. Sure, it ain't the most convenient path. Biggest stink guy he's ever seen is waiting for him on the other side. Well, it ain't polite to stare. Alright. Where there's one stink guy, there's always more. Did not mean that to uh, kill that one stink guy. I was just trying to clear things out. The cauldron's tenants all gather up. Bid the kid a fond farewell. The kid don't shed any tears for the road. Sometimes you just feel like firing a mortar around. With a good spyglass, you can still see the cauldron from the city. The fire's died out. There's nothing left of it. Alright, and that should make a recording. He comes back looking like the inside of a chimney. The culture. A still life of old unwanted keepsakes. We're all a little short on friends these days, so that's a welcome sight. They said the wild could never be tamed. If only they could see us now. But I will undo all of it. Because uh, like that's that's the choice I'll make at the ending of this run. This is the other run I did the whole you No, know, we just continue on as we are. The memorial may be finished, but our part is far from over. Hey, there. Yeah, let's see if I spending some stuff here. No, it doesn't matter. Takes a careful touch to rattle those bones like that. Uh, that I call a knife. Power shots and all is that easy to pull off. Now we're looking at some serious firepower. Alright, so that'll be it for this one. Uh, I have something to do, but I will hopefully come back later today. Alright, I don't know why I mentioned that, because it's not like you see them in the same day. Ah, uh, well, whatever. Uh, see you next time.